Housing inventory is down for a fourth straight week. I'm Eric Engelbert with Orange County Real Estate and welcome to our weekly market report. We're gonna look at the data for the last seven days here in Orange County and we're gonna to touch on a couple data points in the United States. Uh, so as inventory goes down, pendings are actually going up. Um, so buyer demand is increasing and home sellers are staying put. Uh, we're not sure you know, what's gonna happen in the future. Hopefully this spring market uh, inventory will increase a little bit, but um, at the moment, it is not doing that. Uh, I still feel like a lot of homes that have been sitting on the market uh, through the holidays are starting to fall off. Those are starting to get sold. So that's a little bit of a drop in the inventory. And hopefully uh, we see these spring sellers uh, pop up and, and uh, inventory will increase. If it doesn't, you know, this inventory thing, we're going to definitely keep an eye on it because if it doesn't increase, that's going to dictate not just the home sales that we have, but also home values. So if inventory doesn't increase, I mean, I imagine home values to go up again another 10%, and that's going to be very difficult for buyers, especially uh, first time home buyers. Um, the median list price in Orange County is holding steady at $1.5 million. Uh, that's for single family homes. The, the condos are also staying steady. Um, oh, the loans, I wanted to talk about the loans. So the mortgage rates, they're fluctuating a little bit here and there, you know, but staying steady, pretty steady over the last couple of weeks. You can find a jumbo uh, loan at um, 6%, a 30 year fixed. But um, there's a couple of banks that have decided to keep portfolio products or offer portfolio products and those are loans that they're gonna keep on their books. And that includes Bank of the West, uh, US Bank, and I think Farmers and Merchants have a couple of good uh, loan products. So what that means is they don't have to follow the same and regular rules as banks that do mortgages and then sell them on the secondary market. So Bank of the West has had a few good loans, jumbo loans at 5%. Um, U.S. Bank five and a quarter at only uh, with 10% down and no PMI. So these are really good loans. So there are good loans out there. Um, and we can talk about that a little bit. Obviously, I'm not in lending anymore, but I do uh, ha keep an eye on that stuff so I can uh, introduce you to some of these lenders who can offer portfolio products and, and sometimes, you know, sometimes a full point less than what you can get uh, from some traditional lenders. Okay, let's jump right into our statistics. And of course, our first slide is our inventory slide. And as I mentioned, inventory is down here in Orange County. All residential inventory is down to 2,424. And in the US, we had a 3% drop in inventory for single family homes. Um, that's quite a, that's a significant uh, decrease in inventory there, uh, 443,416. Uh, so, Inventory again continues to be the big news. We're still at really low levels. Um, and on the flip side of that, under contracts and pendings are up for the fourth straight week. Now uh, 1,784 um, properties went under contract. And in the US, that number is also up. So that's a sign of good buyer demand. The other sign is mortgage applications are up too. Uh, so that's also telling us that people are preparing to purchase and getting things in order, get their pre-approvals in order and their, and their full applications. All right, the next line, in the last seven days, we had 456 new listings, just a little bit less from last week. And the total that closed is 287, a little bit more from last week. All right, the next slide is our days on market. So the week before everything went down and there were some dramatic drops. This week, uh, we've had a few that went down, some more, like over 2 million. So this has gone down quite a bit in two weeks. Um, but uh, median days on market for all properties is 38 and the average days on market is 67. That's stayed the same. Under a million, that's gone down just one to 33. One to two million, that stayed the same at 34 days. And over two million, the median um, days on market for over two million is 67. That's uh, last week, it was a 10 day drop or just over 10 day drop. So in two weeks, that has gone down. So demand for luxury properties has gone up here in Orange County. And these numbers, again, are low numbers. This is really looking like a buyer's market uh, with the days on market. Uh, numbers. Of course, we know that sellers, some sellers are anxious and there is still some um, negotiating with sellers. Uh, but uh, last week, um, 
the sold price versus list price uh, properties were selling for 3.2 percent less that went up today uh, this week for to only 1.23 percent so there's um, more demand, less negotiating. I know that there's been multiple offers on properties. Again, not overbidding quite yet, but um, multiple offers. Um, okay, this next slide is the OC median single family list price. Like I said, 1.5 million. That's staying steady for condos, 749,000. That went down a little bit from last week, but still staying pretty steady. The sold price versus the list price. Uh, this is a pretty big jump, 2% change here. So things are selling closer to the list price. So there's less negotiating on the list price than there was the week before. And that's because there are multiple offers on properties. Um, so buyers, if you guys are out there looking at properties and buying, it's really important to write a good, strong offer. Um, and then, of course, the offer matters itself, how it's presented, having all the T's crossed and the I's dotted and showing your proof of funds, uh, telling your story of how you're going to get through this process with, with your proof of funds, with your lender information and having you know everything in order. That, that definitely matters. A, a listing agent receiving a clean, well-written offer is going to put that to the top of the list, even if the value or the um, offer price is less than some others that aren't as well written. All right. Um, immediate sales went up a little bit too in Orange County, 3.9%. Again, that's another sign of strong buyer demand and price reductions are down a little bit to 30%. Uh, that's getting back to normal. Um, I still think this is happening because um, a lot of those homes from the holiday season that sat during that period of time are starting to sell and turn over. So that's a good thing. All right, our next slide is Costa Mesa. Just a little snapshot of an area in Orange County. We're keeping an eye on, on Costa Mesa. This is a single family uh, home data. The average list price went down um, to 1.698 and change. The average days on market also went down in Costa Mesa to 41. Price reductions are at 27%. That's 10 properties of the 37. Uh, relisted is zero. So we've got rid of that one property that was relisted and total inventory is 37. That went up quite a bit from last week. So that's good for new listings. The relisted um, statistic, those are properties that were had accepted an offer, went into escrow, and then fell out of escrow and got relisted back for sale. Um, that was happening a lot in the last six, seven, eight months when mortgage rates were jumping way up. People uh, were in the middle of um, an escrow process and then the mortgage changed or the guidelines changed and they all of a sudden couldn't qualify or their payment was uh, higher than what they expected. So they had to cancel the, the escrow. All right, let's next slide is the condo data. Um, average list price has gone up slightly to 895,000. The average days on market is up 72. This is a big number compared to our whole, you know, Orange County days on market. It's a very interesting thing. I mean, we don't have a lot of inventory, but for some reason, uh, these condos aren't selling uh, very quickly. And normally this price point sells the fastest. You know, this is the cheapest property in Costa Mesa, which has always historically high demand. Uh, the schools are great, especially on the east side. So people want to live here. So this is interesting, you know, it went up again. Um, we're going to keep an eye on what happens with this days on market. And I don't really, I can't put pinpoint it other than, you know, maybe the price, things are just priced too high. I mean, 895,000 for a condo with a $430 HOA, you know, that could be steering some people away at a 6% mortgage rate too. Um, all right. Price reductions in Costa Mesa, four condos is up. Nine of them uh, out of 21 have price reductions. That's 42.8%. That went up from last week. Relifted, there's only one that's been relisted that fell out of escrows, 4.7%. And the total inventory also went down to 21. So we did lose a couple properties last week, uh, which is good. There are some selling, but still this days on market feels high to me. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. All right, well, that's all the data points we have today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If um, you guys need this data for your area, if you're targeting a specific area, please reach out. You can call, email, or text, and we'll um, get you that email um, or market report specifically for that area that uh, will tell you or show you the days on market and the sold price versus list price. All right, thanks again for watching, and have a wonderful day.